We are back at 812 with more of our exclusive interview with Kai Chase, Michael Jackson's personal chef. She was in his rented home on the day he died. Kai, again, good morning to Hi, you. Good morning. Um, when we left off, we were talking about the fact that you had um, left the home for about three weeks in May, came back in June, the beginning of June, and you noticed a change at that point in Michael Jackson's behavior and his appearance. T tell me about that. When I was in the home in April, uh, Mr. Jackson would come downstairs uh, routinely and come downstairs and before he went on his rehearsals looking wonderful, you know, sharp with his black jeans on and blazer, aviator glasses, going out, going to the studio, upbeat, chipper, eating and, you know, feeling really good about himself. But when I came back in June, I noticed he was a little thinner and I was wondering, had he been eating? You know, had, had, he be, had he been eating it? And then I thought to myself, he's a dancer. You know, he's a dancer, his body's his tool. He's working very hard. And he did say to you at one point, they're killing me in, in reference to the fact that he was working so hard, rehearsing yeah, so yeah. hard. Yes, yes, he, he, said, he said, I need you to take care of me. I need you to feed me healthy like you have been. And I need you to, do you have my beet juice? Do you have my beet juice in the refrigerator? Yes, Mr. Jackson, we have those things for you. They're killing me. They're killing me. I'm rehearsing very hard, you know, maybe two rehearsals a day. It was also around that time that, that Dr. Conrad Murray became a fixture in the home uh, there every day. Mm -hmm. Did Michael Jackson ever say to you why he would need a, a personal physician on a daily basis? Had this Was this something you had seen before? You know, Mr. Jackson and I never spoke about his, you know, uh, personal physician. Mm -hmm. It was just mainly about the food and keeping him healthy and getting him ready for the tour. You know, um, um, Mr. Dr. Con Murray. Do Dr. Murray, he, I, I saw him more routinely in June. Um, and he, he was in the home and taking, doing what he was supposed to as his doctor. When would he show up? I would see him in the mornings. I would see him in the mornings when I arrived to the house. And around 10, so, 10.30, I'd see him when he'd come downstairs to retrieve a juice or some type of breakfast. And, and you have said that when he would come downstairs, when you first see him in the morning, he'd be carrying oxygen tanks. I saw sometimes the oxygen tanks that he would carry downstairs. Did you wonder what that was about? Of course. Of course I did. You know, I, I, I wasn't sure. I've ne I had never seen anything like that before. So I, I wondered to myself, I wonder what those are used for. But but this was something nobody else in the household spoke about. No, 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 no one spoke about that at all. It's just probably something that he was taking care of Mr. Jackson with. In the time that you, that you knew Michael Jackson, did you ever see ev any evidence that he was on any kind of medication? No, none. No, not at all. I, he ate very well when I was when I was there, and that's what we were promoting. That's what we were encouraging, and he, that's what he was doing. What about reports, Kai, that he had an eating disorder, a serious eating disorder? I never saw. I I, I never saw any of that. I would actually see the man eat, you know, and 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 was getting healthy. He was excited about this tour. He was very excited about this tour. His kids were excited. We all were, you know, and he was doing a wonderful job you know he he would show some of his dance moves in the home to us you know while he would conversate with us and he would just you know he was thrilled you know the story is now circulating that he was on this drug propofol to, to help him sleep this very strong sedative did he ever appear to you to be somebody who had trouble sleeping did he ever talk about sleeplessness no, no, we never discussed any of that you know sometimes I would see Mr. Jackson come downstairs in the evening when I would be, would be getting ready to leave after the dinners and I would wash the dishes, put him in the dishwasher and be ready to go. He'd come downstairs in his pajamas, he's going to bed. He'd grab a, a juice, he'd wave, say hi, we'd have some conversation. And Does it seem odd to you, Kai, that all of this could be going on upstairs where you were never allowed to go right. um, and you're seeing a whole different person downstairs? He, he wasn't that way. Yeah. No, no. I, he was, he was normal acting. He was very excited about this tour. He was eating. He was interacting with his children and game time, play time, and dinners with his children and lunch with his children. So I never saw anything different until yeah. when I came back. 
We're going to have more with you in the next hour. We so okay. appreciate it, including these are just some of the notes that his children wrote to you. My favorite. Yeah. Thanks for getting me the apricots. Daddy loves them. Yes. Signed, Yab Yab, which is yeah. a nickname for Paris. For Paris. Thank you so much for You're all welcome. your time this morning. Hi, yeah, Chase. No <laughs> and we are back right after this.